Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela, and today I have a grocery haul for you um, from Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. It's one of my favorite stores, and with all the increases in prices, um, they've actually stayed really competitive. I've always loved watching grocery hauls, so I figured why not uh, bring you along and show you what I get on a usually a weekly basis. I'm to get out of there with about $100 to $125 a week, and that's uh, for me and the two boys. milk and creamer for my coffee in the morning um, and right now we are gluten-free and dairy-free so I got a vegan cream cheese this vegan uh, kale cashew and basil pesto I actually prefer this over the regular uh, pesto uh, Alaric picked the roasted garlic hummus now let's talk about this crunchy chili onion if you have not tried this run Run to your nearest Trader Joe's and try it. It's amazing. I put it on anything. Uh, meat, vegetables, eggs, avocado toast. I mean, you name it. Um, these are really good. They are peanuts and uh, date bars. And then we also get these. And both of these are gluten-free. I also found today these. There you go. And I've gotten them before. I really like them. It satisfies my sweet tooth a bit. Um, I got some coconut amino and some rice vinegar because I have this uh, stir fry and I have these gluten-free um, glass noodles that I'm going to stir fry up together. Uh, these all will go and I'll do a couple things. I'll make tacos out of this as well as uh, throw it together for uh, at home, make your own chipotle bowl kind of thing. I also found this fig butter, which I thought looked interesting, and I'll make peanut butter and jellies with those. And then these are insanely delicious. It's parsley and cumin chickpeas, um, and they're a really decent price. It's only $1.99 for the can. Uh, sometimes I really like to have just an easy breezy lunch, so I'll get a couple pre-made salads. This will be for tacos. Um, some greens, because I like to make some roasted bowls. Uh, this will go for uh, tacos, we'll put mushrooms and peppers. Um, Peter is coming home this Saturday, so he usually likes uh, celery and peanut butter for a quick snack. And over here to our gluten-free area, we have the white bread, the almost everything bagels, um, and then this is brand new. I haven't tried this yet, but it says rolled oats, cornflakes, toasted coconut chips. Okay. Uh, these are a little treat that I get myself. They're apple cider vinegar beverages. Uh, it's almost like a sparkling tonic, if you'd say. And then I got these ones. These are the chicken ones. I normally prefer the pork, but they only had chicken. So I figured better than nothing to get these. Uh, and then I've had this before. It's a shiitake mushroom chicken. Uh, it's a freezer meal. So I throw it in the freezer. And then, you know, on a night that I don't feel like cooking, I uh, throw it in a pan. And I usually will add a little bit of mushrooms um, just to bulk up the meal a bit. I figured I would try this and give you guys my feedback on it. Um, it's my first time. I'm not sure if it's a new product at Trader Joe's, uh, but it's new to me. So here we go. Let's get a little bite of everything. crunchy, nutty. The coconut gives it a really nice touch. It'll be good on top of that cashew yogurt that I got. And lastly, I got this oil. Um, it's good for cleaning skin, softening, moisturizing. Uh, sometimes I'll do it as a hair treatment or I have really dry skin. So it kind of just helps bring back some moisture. 
And that is it. If you have any questions about uh, dinners that I'm making or recipes, go ahead and leave it in the comment below or just let me know if you've tried any of these or what your favorite uh, product is. See you guys next time.